today I'm going to be showing you how to upload an image to Cleric so that this icon that you see here ends up getting changed to our profile image okay so there are two ways to do this on the front end okay the first way is using the manage account okay and just opening this up and you can just update your profile and just update the image okay but sometimes you might not want this custom cleric design or sometimes what happens is that your client might want something custom okay they might want you as a person to create a custom page and from that page you should have the option to update your profile image or other data that is related to your account so this is the first way okay now i've created a custom profile update page and i've made it very simple so this is a simple form that i have created the username the email the password this is where you will have the option to change the image okay and i'm going to show you two ways of doing this one is going to be the simple one that i would say you usually end up doing okay and that is you can just click the image then you select your image then that image changes and then you can just press the update button and then that image will get uploaded or in the second video i will show you how to create a drag and drop and update the image using that just dragging the image in and dropping it in okay so i'm gonna make two separate videos for this so let's get started so first let's quickly go over the code when i'm going to click this image it's going to let me select the image that i want to upload So to do that, I have created a use state with an image object inside of it, okay? And this is going to handle the submit, this function, and this is going to handle the input whenever the input field changes. So here, this is something that comes with Next.js. You can use a normal image tag if you want, like this but I'm going to use this one okay so what I'm doing is I'm saying that when the input values state image ends up having a value inside of it change it okay and here I'm just using a SVG you can replace this actually with the user dot actually you know what first we need to import that that is use user okay and this is available in react as well so just do this constant inside of this this has a few things inside of it is load is signed in and user I'm going to use user and I'm going to add user dot image url okay just need this and i'm going to save this for now so i have a use state with an image and a handle input so under this i have put both of these inside a label and given it a for image and this image is linked to this id okay so actually this is html4 which is used in react so now this is linked to this and whenever i click anything within this label which is oh uh the reason why it's giving that is if i do if is loaded okay if it is not is loaded then 
return nothing and is loaded is this okay so now that should work actually I'm going to add in full okay so as you can see I'm getting my image and that is thanks to this and because the input values dot image property does not have anything inside of it it's not giving me anything right now but I'm going to show you whenever I click this label because this HTML4 is linked to this it's going to trigger this okay and when the file ends up changing it's going to trigger this and that is this but right now it's taking in all of the values and names of the other input fields like this one for example which is for username okay but I want to trigger a separate function when the image input field changes okay which is this one when the image input field changes so what I'm going to do is add a if and an else and inside of the else I'm going to add this but inside of this I'm going to create a function called convert to base 64 and set image I know it's a really long name but I like to keep the function names to the point so function okay it's going to be this name okay and this is going to have one parameter of file and if you see here I'm getting the name and the value and I also am getting the files but I only want the first file okay so what I'm going to do is pass in zero okay and here I'm going to specify that if the name is equal 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 to the image and this is this name this name okay so when this is the name trigger this function and this function is going to have a new file reader okay and constant is equal to reader okay and this is going to have reader dot read as data URL okay this is going to take in the file and then reader dot onload end this is going to be equal to a function which is going to be this okay and this is going to be image and the value is going to be reader dot result okay so I'm gonna save this and if everything ended up working correctly I should see this image change not this one but this image change okay when I end up clicking this and adding an image so I'm gonna add this image as you can see the image did get added into this but now we need to upload this image so that this image ends up changing right so the way you do this is in the submit form function and also if you don't know where this is this is this one on the on submit okay whenever any button like this one ends up getting clicked it automatically submits the form so what I'm doing is on submit trigger this function and this function I'm using a prevent default to prevent the form from submitting and then what do I want to do so you will use the user dot set profile image okay what this will take in is a object with file and this file will be taking in the input values dot image okay and it's this one okay 
so it's taking in this and this is what ends up changing okay so I'm telling it to in the user set this profile image when I submit this form okay and I'll also add a if to this so that it knows that if this image length is greater than zero then and only then do I want this to trigger okay so I'm gonna save this so now since the image is already uploaded I will just click the update button which will trigger the function and update the image here update and as you can see it added the image to cleric and also refreshed the credentials to add the image okay so this is how you end up adding an image from your front end okay so now I'm gonna move on to the last step which is show you how to delete this image okay so the way you end up deleting this image is so to clear the input field and also clear the use state object value what we're going to do is create another function okay function and what this function is going to do is clear image I'm gonna call it clear image and this is going to clear the input field if I show this to you right now I have a hidden attribute and I'm actually going to comment that out and then show you as you can see this is the name of the file this is showing that this is a file okay that is inside of this so I'm going to show you how to clear the input field and clear the image base64 string from our use state as well so actually let's create the button for this first so I'm gonna add relative okay and for now I'll create a simple button you can add a icon to this if you want the trash can icon but I'm just gonna create a button so next I'm going to add in that if the input field image length is greater than zero then what I want to do is show a button So if I save this, oh, it cleared the file. Okay, so the button is getting added here. The reason for that is it's a whole block, okay? So now I have the image file again. So now I'm going to add the functionality to remove this and this at the same time, which is on click. I want to add clear image. I want to run this function, clear image. And inside of this, I'm going to do document dot get the element by the ID and then dot I'm going to get the ID. Then I'm going to do dot value is equal to empty. Okay. So clear this and also take this. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. I'm just going to console log. Input values dot image just to see if it is empty or not. Okay. You know what? Let's actually change this 
image because if I remove this, this will just take the icon image. So I'm going to use this for an example. Okay. So yeah, if now if I show you the console log, I'm going to clear it. So when I click this, this is going to remove everything. Okay. So delete. And as you can see, it removed the image. And the reason why you're seeing this image is because it took on the default image that is in the Cleric account now. So this is how to do all of this. So I hope you like this tutorial. Like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest tutorials. So give this video a like if you end up liking this video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the latest tutorials and to help the channel out. So I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.